So, three scrap laptops. Well, at the moment, two scrap laptops. The third one hasn't arrived yet. These laptops are sort of working, half working, one fourth working, like some parts work and other parts not. So basically, it's as simple as taking parts from each and every other of these laptops and end up with one working laptop. Hopefully. Anyway, this is going to be a very interesting project. Several months later, I got the Lenovo. It was still a complete laptop. It was working. It just needed a new hard drive. This, I got it already, is what is left. So, I have taken this thing apart already. Like, I already got some parts. I'm gonna have to ghetto a lot of stuff here because I don't think it still has its power connector. Like, where I could plug it in to power it. This is what it's left. There's the Pentium processor. It's lost its RAM. It's 2 gigs of RAM. It has lost something really, really important. Can you see what's missing? I mean, that's a parts bin. That's everything else. It's missing its entire cooling system. It lost its heat sink. It, it lost all the brackets. It lost the fans. So this is a Lenovo IdeaPad Z570. This is a lot worse. Like, there's nothing left in it, essentially. Also, I'm gonna update. Since that last clip, I plan to make a laptop for a fellow YouTuber, a fellow friend. This is like months later. This is like months later. He now has a new laptop. I'm gonna link it somewhere here or maybe in the description where I did an upgrade. He bought a laptop instead. Like an old laptop. It's like 150 bucks plus some spare parts we have. Yeah, this is a whole different project altogether. This is not a worthy laptop for him at all. There's nothing left. This is also the first time I'm doing a selfie video thing. Well, there's barely anything left. Fortunately, I got myself some extra RAM from this laptop, this other Lenovo. So I'm gonna place that RAM. I gotta have to somehow fit a heatsink assembly here from another laptop. That's gonna be a whole level of ghetto. And even see if this thing would even boot up. Oh, oh yeah. I gotta have to find a way to power up this thing. I'm gonna have to, like, I actually, here's a connector of this, of this other Lenovo. I have to bring it out because I can't plug this thing properly. Uh, there's VGA out anyway. There's there's still the dis there is still a display out, so I could still display out of this. If this works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This is like lower than my usual quality. I'm shooting at night using my phone. So anyway, see how this thing goes. So um. This is, so far, the monstrosity setup I have right now. So I was able to find a schematic online and find out which pins are which, which is which, which is positive, which is negative for me to power it up and connect the G450's power jack. But of course, I don't want to plug in my lap, my main laptop's charger in this because if something goes wrong, I don't want to kill my own charger. I have some alligator wires that connects directly to the wires itself which runs down here to the charger of my old Acer laptop so if it's some if it kills it well it kills it I mean it's, look at it it's already ghetto and everything since this plug is too small for the jack that I soldered on I had to use as you saw alligator clips I took the board where the power switch is so I can actually switch it on I zip tied an old CPU heatsink, though this is not an ideal heatsink. I'm gonna find a better one than this. I got two gigs of fra two gigs of RAM. All right, let's switch it on. Oh, we're not getting any power. Hold on. All right, that was a small hiccup. I have some loose connections. That's power. We see some flashes. We 
don't have a fan because I can't figure out which pin is which. And then let's turn it back on. All right, we got power. We got some fancy flashes of lights. We also got some lights over here. That's a good sign. And the CPU is running hot. Good thing I got a fan on standby. Keep it cool because that is actually getting hot.
So all right, system is working 100%. We have a full, fully working Windows over here. So you may say, all right, video's over. You're wrong. I still have a lot planned for this computer. Maybe I'll upgrade the CPU using one of those other computers. Maybe add more RAM. I could change the CPU cooler with something better. I could give it an enclosure. I could turn this thing back into a laptop if I wanted to, if I have the spare parts. Like, I have a lot planned for this system and there's still more where that came from. Like you're gonna like, haters gonna hate. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Especially with that because I have a lot more planned with this computer thing.